All right, in the last few videos, we've been working on division, so this is just going to be an extension of that. And as we work through these problems, we want to pay very close attention to, you know, how we keep things lined up, and just the process of how do we go about trying to do this division. Uh, we want to show that it is, you know, these are not things that you just know off the top of your head. They are things we have to figure out. We make um, sort of some guesstimates, and then we go from there. So let's look at this first problem here. We have um, 2,296 divided by 28. And just as a refresher, this number underneath this house top is called the dividend, and the 28 is called the divisor. We're going to be finding the quotient, or the answer. All right, so when we start in with our division, we always start in by looking at our divisor and say, okay, will it go into this number digit by digit? So can I multiply something times 28 and get 2? Well, no, that's not big enough. What about 22? Well, there again, 22 is smaller than 28, so we're not going to multiply anything to get there. So now we have to look at 229. Well, 28 will definitely divide into 229, but we don't know how many times. And, you know, I don't know all the multiples of 28 off the top of my head, so I would have to start in and, and figuring it out myself. So the first thing that I always do is say, well, okay, what is that times 5? 5 is kind of the middle number. So let's see, that would be 40, and 5 times 2 would be 10, and, carry, and add the 4 would be 140. Well, 140 is smaller than 229, so there's probably something larger. Let's just start making some guesses. What about um, 28 times 7? Let's see, 8 times 7 would be 56, and 2 times 7 would be 14, plus 5 would be 19, so that would be 196. Well, again, that's getting closer to 229, but I might be able to get even closer. So let's test um, 28 times 8. Let's see, 28 times 8, that would be 64, oops, 4, I'll carry the 6, 8 times 2 would be 16, plus 6 would be 22, so 224 is very close to 229. If I were to try 9, to say 28 times 9, let's see, that would be 72, and um, 2 times 9 would be 18, and 7, that would be 25, let's see, that's too big. So we can't get exactly 229, but we can get close. And that would be 28 times 8. So now we multiply diagonally always, 28 times 8. And notice we lined this up uh, on top of the 9 because this is the number, the, the first number that we could actually divide 28 into. So now we multiply diagonally. So 8 times 28, we know from doing our math over here at the side, is 224. Now we always subtract down. So 229 minus 224 would be 5. And now we drop our next digit and we begin again. So 28 will probably go into 56, but I don't know how many times. Um, it's got to be less than 5 times. Let's just try maybe 2 and see what happens. Let's see, 2 times 8 would be 16. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Well, that's even. So 28 times 2 is 56. Now notice that I lined that up on top of the 6, because that's the last digit that we were using. So 2 times 28 is 56. And when I subtract that, we have nothing left over. So that means we have zero remainder. So our problem, our, our, I say our problem, our answer is 82. Now we could always check that by going backwards. We could multiply 82 times 28. And in fact, I, we're running out of time, but if you wanted to multiply those together, you would in fact get 2,296. That's your check. 